This is where I look back at the early 90s European exclusive Transformers line that didn't transform. So, uh, I've just picked two at random here. And uh, I'm going to talk to you first about one of my favourite G1 characters, Soundwave. Now, the thing is about Action Masters, they, the majority of the figures, especially the Decepticons, in my opinion anyway, seem to be lacking a key characteristic. So Megatron was missing his fusion cannon, Soundwave missing his shoulder cannon. And as you can see with Action Masters, uh, they are a little bit wobbly. Uh, I'm just in the process of tightening up Soundwave's arms here. You've got articulation at the head, at the arms. Not really at the, uh, at the waist, um, at the upper thigh. You can kind of get it forward, but that sometimes makes the legs pop off. But you do get a bend at the knee. So, they are your bog standard action figures. Um, but yeah, Transformers that don't transform. A really, really odd concept. Now, Soundwave here didn't come on his own. Because the game of Action Masters is their weapons would transform. And here we have his weapon, Wing Thing. Which I think was a cassette. I'm sure it was a cassette. So, unfortunately, my version of Wing Thing here has seen better days. Um, since I was a kid, he's lost a wing. He's broken a part off. He's at one of these um, handles. Uh, pegs have broken off. And uh, his tail has faded. But you can see how they would look quite cool together. Now, the gimmick with this, as I say, is that the weapons transform. And to do that... You've got an auto-morph kind of thing where you pull this down and push that up. And now he's a gun. Which works okay. And you can actually take Soundwave's gun out of his hand. Plug that into the end. And plug that into his hand. And then you end up with this super batty wing rifle. Really, really strange. But... As you can see, Soundwave here is a pretty cool little figure. Um, and he actually scales near enough, and I know it's not transformed, with one of these, uh, I think these were Hot Soldiers Soundwaves. These are a little bit bigger. But, yeah, he's a pretty cool figure. Now, as we've got a Decepticon, we might as well get an Autobot. And that Autobot is Trax. Um, this... Is a, a cool figure, and this is the reason why I've got these out the loft because I know the collector 75 recently bought him. I think he paid about 75 quid for him on eBay. Um, and you know what? It made me realize that I haven't shown these guys enough love. So, tracks here again, same, same amount of articulation as I say, as before. A uh, bit like Soundwave missing his cannon and Megatron missing his fusion cannon. Trax is missing his wings and the part on the back of his head. But you can still tell it's Trax, mainly because of the the, the symbol there, the, um, um, the flame symbol. It's a cool little figure. And here Trax comes with Basher. And Basher is like a small artillery unit. He should have another one of these on this side, but... That has got lost um, over the years as well since uh, I had these when I was a kid. 
Now, uh, I might have that somewhere. I think it might be in a parts box, but there you go. Uh, now, this guy doesn't roll, hasn't got any wheels or anything like that, but you can see it's definitely meant to be an artillery unit. And how you get this one to work is you pull these down, like so. You plug this onto Trax's back, and you press the button, and that kind of happens, like a kind of mech suit. Um, <laughs> it looks absolutely stupid and ridiculous, to be honest with you. I mean, you could put that up and you kind of get the tracks look, kind of, wrong colour. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think this one works. I can understand it's meant to be like a mech enhancement suit and all that kind of stuff, like an exosuit, but it doesn't really work. Uh, can we just take a moment to appreciate Trax's gun? I mean, that is nothing like his Generation 1 gun. It's big, it's bulky, and if you look what you you got with Soundwave, that's a decent wad of plastic in that gun. So, Action Masters, real oddity in the Transformers world. Um, something that we actually got gifted over in, in Europe rather than the US. And uh, I absolutely love them. So if you've enjoyed this episode of Action Master Drug Doubles, then uh, let me know and I'll do another one. Until next time, I've been Zork Rider and I'll uh, catch you soon.